Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This video today is a little bit different than the normal video. We're gonna step away from doing uh, a vlog for today, uh, just as we did yesterday. Yesterday we did a woman's gift guide, and today we are doing a men's gift guide. And it covers a, a kind of a wide range spectrum of, of different items, whether it is like beauty, like men's grooming, or items that are more of like a necessity that I have to take when I travel every single month, stuff like that. We also have some fashion items, just some uh, a few things that I've been asked about or Julia's been asked about of things that I'm wearing on some of the vlogs. Uh, so we're gonna show you some of those pieces from a more of a fashion perspective. And then we also have a few tech pieces as well of things that I always keep with me, whether it's in my pockets every single day or my backpack. Uh, just things I take with me when I travel, like I said, or items that I frankly think are just pretty, pretty damn cool. So, so all of you ladies out there, if you're looking to buy something for a male figure in your life, whether it is items for you to buy your husband, boyfriend, maybe it is your brother, your father, for Christmas or for the holidays, have quite a few pretty awesome things to show you. For everyone that's new and you're not subscribed yet, hit subscribe. Would love to have you walk through our life with us and kind of join along. But let's go ahead and dive into the video and uh, I'm excited to jump on in and show you some, some really great gift ideas for Christmas. Okay, so for the first piece, uh, this is actually from Lululemon. It is a fanny pack. Um, it's actually, it might even be a woman's fanny pack, but it was a fanny pack that I had bought in, not for fanny pack purposes, but as my bathroom kit that I travel with uh, because it's really nice when you go to different hotels. I like that it has the, the clip so you can attach it to the towel rack um, and keep it off the counter kind of out of the way and then just go over and like grab stuff out of it as you need. It, it keeps not only your bag off the countertop, but it also acts as kind of like a storage compartment when you are done brushing your teeth instead of just leaving it on the, the vanity or the sink that of whatever hotel I'm at, I just go back and drop it in there and it kind of stays out of the way and no one messes with your stuff. So moving on to just some of the pieces that I normally take with me when I do travel, uh, just some of the items that I'd recommend as great gifts, but more of like necessities, like men's beauty products, I guess you could say. Um, some of them, I guess the first piece I would show is this specific cologne. Um, I got this last year for Christmas. Uh, I think my mom and Julia got it for me. And so the brand is Mason Francis Kirkajon, and the specific fragrance is Amorous, A-M-Y-R-I-S, but we'll include it in the description box. I love this cologne, love the fragrance. Julia really likes it. Um, I have had this for over a year now and it's still like half full. Yeah, really great gift if you want your man smelling nice. Next item is a specific chapstick. So I usually just keep this chapstick in my pocket. Uh, I put it in here just for the video purposes, but um, it's great to travel with, but I do, like I said, keep it in my pocket every single day. It's one of my like absolute necessities that I grab every single morning along with my phone, my keys, my wallet. I always grab chapstick. Um, I've tried many, many different chapsticks and you know, there's, there's a ton that I do like. But this is by far my favorite from like a, the thickness of it. It's like very soothing and, and it actually is pretty like thick. So it stays on all day, uh, keeps your lips hydrated and in the winter it's like, you know, your lips get hella chapped. This is a great chapstick that I'd recommend as like a stocking stuffer. Okay, next item is the one and only Kiehl's avocado eye cream. Also something I stole from Julia, but it's, I've made it my own and <laughs> she actually doesn't use this as much as I do. Um, but I love how hydrating it is. I was never into eye cream before I started using this one and I put it on every single morning. Um, like after my shower, after I wake up, if I don't shower, I put on Kiehl's avocado eye cream and it's, it's so hydrating. So when you put it on your face, it's like not only just like refreshing feeling, but you can definitely tell your skin is like so hydrated and just people have even asked like, oh, I like Hunter's makeup that he's wearing. And it's like, I'm not wearing makeup. I'm wearing avocado eye cream, moisturizer, and it just kind of gives you like a nice glow. I'm not wearing it for the glow by any means, but more just for like waking me up and kind of just refreshing my face a little bit. Definitely recommend, include in the link below. Next item, uh, also something that Jill and I both do use is another eye cream, uh, two back to back. And this one's called Osmosis. Um, and the reason I'm recommending this one also is because one, Joy and I really like this a ton, but also I use this one at night. So I use the avocado eye cream in the morning and then I use the Osmosis at night because it's a bit thicker and you can put a little bit more on. Go to sleep with it, wake up, face is very hydrated. So you can see it called Osmosis. And literally a little goes a long way. So like literally all you need is like that much. Um, honestly, <laughs> I could probably put that much on both eyes and it would leave like a thick layer. I don't know if you can see here, but this is like what I normally wear at night. Like at the end of most of our vlogs, when my face is all shiny, this is what I'm wearing. Um, 
And, and Julia and I both love this, so thank you to her sister Angelica for sending this to Julia. And now I've kind of made it mine. But any of the husbands or boyfriends out there that are wanting to get more into like skincare, moisturizers, definitely recommend both this and Kiehl's. If I was to suggest one over the other, I would go with the Kiehl's because it's something that you can wear during the daytime, the avocado eye cream, versus the osmosis that is more if you wanna go like a step deeper and wear something at night. This is like our secret serum that everyone usually asks about uh, when we're going to bed at night, what we're wearing, and this is it. It's badass, it's amazing. Um, definitely recommend, not only for your husband, but for yourself. Jill and I both wear it every single night, and it's fantastic. All right, next item I take with me when I travel is my razor. <laughs> this is a tool that not only I use, but Julia steals it from me usually when we're traveling. And when I think I still have my eye cream on one side of my face, let me even it out there. There we go. All right, so uh, this razor, it's a brand called Harry's Razor. You've probably seen it like Target or Walmart. By far my favorite razor, the only razor I buy at all. Um, and what's nice is they have a subscription as well, I believe, that you can kind of get reoccurring, like sent to you monthly. Um, I am not part of the membership, but what I do is I buy the razor one time. I have a couple of them. Um, and then you can just go back and get like the razor heads for your razors. Um, I don't know, they're a freaking sweet razor and I've tried quite a few and they're just like a, I don't know, just like nice, they're like masculine though. Um, they have green, they have blue, I think they have, might have another, a couple other colors. Um, I usually just change it up, but always keep one of these with me in my bag. I started using them like right when they launched. So I've been using them for quite a while now, for a few years and love them, you can get them at Walmart, Target, online. We'll list the, the online uh, link below. So just a really easy gift, something pretty basic, but like I said, a necessity that I take with me every time I travel, so. All right, so the next beauty slash bathroom product that I'm gonna recommend as a gift is somewhat dependent on if the man you're buying it for has a beard or not. It is this beard oil. Uh, it's Duke Cannon Supply Co. Um, and the scent is Redwood. Love the smell. Um, I recently shaved, but like if, you're, if your man already has a beard or is trying to grow a beard, Really great recommendation. Kind of gives it that like sparkle or glow that you sometimes see in, in men's beards. And I use this quite a bit when I when I do have beards or even when I have like some facial hair. I usually put this on every morning um, after my moisturizer. But it's just a really great scent. I think that's why I fell in love with it. It's like the perfect scent, not only that I really appreciate and like, but also that Julia likes and I know that's important. So uh, definitely recommend this. Last but not least on my product recommendations for like bathroom products, necessities, home goods, stuff like that, are these cotton swabs. <laughs> and the reason I like these is because they're black. So they're very manly, masculine, and just a sleek design that we have like actually in every one of our bathrooms. I uh, really like that they're black and clean, and they look really good in just like a little cup uh, of black cotton swabs. So pretty basic item. Got it from a store called Muji, we'll link below, uh, but a really cool product just as like a kind of a fun thing to keep in your bathroom. Okay, moving on to fashion items. So first thing I wanna start with are hats. So I have a few different hats I was gonna show. I, I like very basic single colored hats. Um, I think they look nice and they're pretty fashionable. They can go with a lot of items. I actually have a denim one on now, obviously, but this green one and the denim one are both the same brand. It's Club Monaco, uh, really great fitting. I've had these for quite a while and I wear them pretty much every day. Um, you'll always see me in a hat. Uh, they're kind of similar to like the Lululemon hats but a little bit, I would say like a little bit better quality um, and a little bit more fashionable in my, in my mind. Okay, next fashion item are these sweatpants. These are Lululemon sweatpants. I'm not a big sweatpant person. Julia actually loves when I wear sweatpants and I don't like sweatpants that much, but these are the one pair that I do wear pretty consistently. Uh, they're like a stretchy material um, and they have like a little zipper on the side. So yeah, I don't know, they're like a really good go-to when you're just like chilling around the house or if you wanna go like on a hike and it's like a little bit cooler on, on a, if you wanna go like pretty casual around like town and go shopping or whatever. Pretty great sweatpant, definitely recommend. All right, so I have two Levi jackets to show you. One is this jacket here. I know a lot of people in our vlogs have asked about this jacket. This is a Levi's jacket. I actually got it at Nordstrom, so we'll leave the link in the description box below. But I don't know, this is just like a pretty dope jacket, like denim, it's got like the, the whatever you call it, like the faux fur. It's just like, I don't know, it's really comfortable, it's cozy, and it's, it's a great quality jacket, obviously. I'll probably have this for years. I got it like a year ago, and I wear it when I can. Uh, but it's just like a nice fashionable jacket, looks good, looks like you know what you're doing, um, and isn't like going like overboard with fashion uh, from a man's perspective. So 
I don't know. I really like it. Julia always steals it from me and uh, wears it when it's cold outside. But I know quite a few guys that have also bought this jacket and they really like it. So um, definitely like a really great gift idea for your husband. Um, especially like in the winter time. It's just like a perfect time to get him something like this. The other jacket is the one that I am wearing right now. This is also Levi's. It's just like a green bomber jacket. And I've had this for a few months now. Wear it when I can. It's nice when it's like kind of like misting or raining outside. It allows you to like just throw in a quick jacket. It fits nice, you know, very light so it's not too heavy but still like protected from like cool air or rain. Another great gift idea that might be a little bit more affordable than the other jacket. Just kind of depending on what you're going for. This doesn't look like you're just some dude trying to be like hella fashionable. It's just like pretty basic jacket. One that I think every guy would look good in. Um, and I guess while I'm at it and I took that jacket off, here is a sample of what this jacket looks like. And I don't know how it'll look with my denim hat, but you can kind of get an idea of like the fitting and what it's supposed to look like. I really like it a lot. Um, once again, like just a key jacket that I wear quite a bit. Next item on my recommended fashion gift ideas are these Chelsea boots. I've had like really high-end Chelsea boots like YSLs, and I've also had other brands Chelsea boots like Zara that are like a little bit more affordable. These are not the cheapest boot, but they're probably the best quality I've had. So I actually like these better than the YSL boots. Not only like from a comfortability perspective, but what's nice about these is they are one very slim. I like a slimmer shoe, but also they are zip up and then have like the buckle. So, or like the strap, whatever you want to call it. I've worn these a couple times. Definitely my favorite Chelsea boot of all the ones I've tried. By far the best that I've ever had from a Chelsea boot perspective. So whether your guy has some Chelsea boots already and you want to give him like a new fresh pair or you want your man to get a little bit more into fashion, I think these would be like a great start. And at a pretty decent price point, I would say they're like still fairly expensive, but um, way cheaper than YSL or another brand that makes like a high-end boot. But I would say from like a quality perspective, these are probably the most high-end I've worn for the most affordable price. Okay, next shoe idea. Is, once again are one of the items that I'm already wearing which are these Timberland boots so I really like these they're they're like pretty dressy but you can also wear them from like a casual perspective and so I don't know it's just a good color like leather nice quality boot also has a zip up so when you zip it up it kind of like hugs your your leg it's not like a just a loose like like when you think of Timberlands and you think they're like that loose boot where like you you leave untied no these are actually like pretty sleek and like once again pretty slim to your foot so I really appreciate them I like them and I wear them on a lot of different occasions the thing I'll show is this oversized sweatshirt it is a sweatshirt and it doesn't have a hoodie on it um, but it's a sweatshirt that has like the hoodie pocket I don't know if it's meant to be oversized but I definitely got it oversized I thought it'd be like a little bit more fashionable and I'll show you what it looks like off but yeah it's just like a pretty chill sweatshirt i wore it all day you can wear it at home i'm wearing it more of like a fashion statement that i can wear around like to coffee shops and kind of while i work i would wear this to the office as well more of like a fashionable piece i got it oversized i got it one size too big on purpose so i usually wear larges this is an extra large just to kind of be like i don't know more comfortable and like look more like a cozy sweatshirt um and i guess while i'm at it and i took that jacket off here is a sample of what this jacket looks like and I don't know how it'll look with my denim hat but you can kind of get an idea of like the fitting and what it's supposed to look like um, once again like just a key jacket that I wear quite a bit okay the next item somewhat fashionable somewhat of just like a, a necessity which is a wallet um, this is by far the best wallet I've ever had I like it so much that I keep buying the same one like every couple years uh, it's a brand called Il Besante Besante the brand is actually an Italian brand called Il Bisonte, which um, I believe I'm saying it right, but it's bison in Italian. Um, so it's bison leather. So this is what the color it was when it started, and now this is what it is. Um, now, after I've worn it for over a year. But what I, I, I like this wallet so much that I keep buying the same exact one. Um, and I get it brand new and kind of wear it down. And so I just have like a bunch of the same wallets that are worn down. So it went from this color to this color. Both of them were actually pretty cool colors. Um, I just always like to get like a new one as like a refresh. Um, and it also allows you to kind of like reset what you actually have in your wallet. Very affordable. Definitely recommend as a gift idea for an everyday go-to or an everyday necessity. And the next item here are these hair ties from a brand called The Long Hairs. It's actually a group of guys that had long hair that got together and created a line of products for men that also have long hair. And so I've actually taken a, a few different Instagram pictures for them as an ambassador. Um, what's nice is a hair tie is a hair tie, but these are actually like pretty damn good hair ties. 
that Julia also steals for me. So, so you don't have to be a guy to rock these hair ties and they have like a ton of different colors. I actually have a red one in right now. Um, but they have not only hair ties, they have head wraps, they have hats, beanies, sweatshirts, um, all kinds of cool like different apparel. Go check out their website. They have like a lot of cool things, not only for men, but also for women. And I have a 10% discount that we're including here. It's Hunter Havens that you can include at checkout. Or you can click the link in the description box that will automatically give you the 10% off on your entire uh, checkout cart. So obviously wear these every day and I keep a pack of these with me in my backpack just in case I lose the hair ties that I have. Less fashionable but, but also functional item that I'm going to recommend are these glasses here. It is a brand called Ombres, O-M-B-R-A-Z. Uh, they recently launched and I contributed to their Kickstarter so I got a free pair. Um, but what's pretty dope about their design is that they don't actually have any stems to the glasses. It's just straight up the rope that it's connected to. And it's a patented design, so all you do is like simply throw it over your head and adjust, adjust the straps. And you just like throw them down and like, I usually wear them over my neck when I'm like not wearing my glasses. So, they're just like hella chill. Like, uh, you just attach them and boop, take them off. Obviously, my bun kind of gets in the way. But, yeah, really great idea. Love these. I have like quite a few pairs of glasses, but these are definitely my go-tos lately. I've been getting crap from Julia and a few subscribers about this <laughs> tape measure. I love it. It's super functional. Um, it's a great tape measure to have. I got it at Home Depot. It's a DeWalt and it's 35 feet long, which is pretty rare to find like a long ass tape measure. And you always need something longer than you have. So anytime we're measuring something, you're like measuring something that's 10 foot long and you stop at a six foot length and you're like crap and then someone has to walk over it's just a, such a hassle i don't want to think about that anymore it's such a hassle but what's nice about this not only is it longer than most like measuring tapes but also has a magnet at the end so you don't always need someone to hold the other end for you you can just attach it to whatever you're measuring and holds itself so incredibly functional i use it all the time not only around the house but when i'm working on my other property as well okay next item out of my toolbox is this ladder that you all have seen um, we use on different like videos. It's like a, I think it's called like a telescope ladder. And this is by far the most handy item we've had since we moved. I don't think we realized when we first moved into this house how often we'd be using this ladder. We use it so freaking much. And it's the most convenient thing like I've ever owned as a tool. Store is easy. It expands really easy. It's light. So Julia can carry it around when I'm not home. Um, and it shrinks up into like a really small, like very easy to use. Like, so it's just like this, it's very light and it expands like a telescope to the height that you need. And it goes, I think it goes 20 feet tall, maybe 25. Like it's an incredibly long ladder. Not only like most functional, but like it's the coolest ladder I've ever owned or ever seen. It's like a great invention. And let me go ahead and close her up. All right, one, one item we keep in our work bags at all time are the rechargeable batteries for your phone. So this is a Morphe. I have a Morphe. I think Julia has another brand. I really like the Morphe. I did a lot of research before I bought one and this was like by far what was recommended the most. Um, second piece I would suggest, which Julia also has mentioned, I think in like Amazon favorites, is this charging cord. Um, the reason I'm showing them together is I usually use them together. So these are the two items I take with me and keep in my bag at all times. Um, so when we travel and you are, you know, at a hotel or at like a family member's house, you never know how far the plug-in will be away from your bed or wherever you're looking to charge your phone. So it's really great to have like an extra long cord. Um, and then I keep it with the Morphe. So uh, I usually, I actually, <laughs> I, I'm actually kind of weird. I keep the, uh, the little tie that it ties up with and then I tie it back, um, depending on when I'm using it. And so if I am using it with the Morphe, I usually just leave the tie on and keep it together just like that. So it's kind of just like a smaller set of items and it's not like a long cord. But then when I get to the hotel or wherever we're staying and I'm gonna plug it into the wall, I then take the tie off, unravel it, plug it in, very easy. And I'm just using the tie that it came with, but I know they make like a certain brand of ties that make like a more of like a Velcro type item. I'd prefer the tie, it's like easier to use and easier to keep up with. This is just great to have in your backpack at all times. Like I can't tell you how many times I've almost run out of battery and this like saved my life on like a work call or when I am commuting to work on the ferry and my phone's about to die and I don't know who's picking me up or something like that, I can quickly plug in my phone. It's definitely a lifesaver. Especially like once, once we got into like the blogging world and Julia started like getting deeper into like fashion. When we were at New York Fashion Week, every single blogger had one of these. And so um, men and women, incredibly handy. 
everyone has like some kind of iPhone or smartphone these days. Definitely great to have with you at all times. Okay, Julie's gonna laugh at me for showing this, but this one is a tactical flashlight that I got on Amazon. And once again, I did a lot of research before I bought this item. Uh, because flashlights suck in my opinion. Like every flashlight I've ever owned runs out of battery or your quit wor quits working even when you add new batteries. There's always a problem when the light bulb goes out. I've had a horrible experience with flashlights and spotlights and stuff like that. And this is one that I researched on Amazon. It was not only incredibly affordable, it's like, I think it's like $12 or maybe cheaper, maybe it's like $5 or something. And it is an amazing light. Like you can make it where it is more focused and like a more of a spotlight, or you can shrink it up and just use a flashlight around your house. But, but I love this. I've got one of these from my dad and my grandfather. Um, and it's like a great stocking stuffer. Every man should have like a flashlight with him. So we keep one of these in the car just for like emergency. And we also keep one of these in our catch all drawer in our house that we both have access to. So we can just like run in if we need a flashlight at night or we wanna take Noah out on a quick walk, we usually take this with us. Okay, moving on. Uh, this item is a cocktail shaker. So I'm really into making cocktails. I like trying new cocktails. Obviously y'all have seen this in Spritz and Chips when I make our Greyhounds or like other type of cocktail drinks that I, I need to shake. Um, and I just like this one. It's like very sleek and clean. Like they make so many different styles out there. I like this one. It's just stainless steel, very sleek, looks nice in the kitchen and it cleans up nicely. Just a really good, really good product. All right, another essential or necessity for every guy out there is to have some kind of Swiss army knife like type tool. So this is one I got at Dick's Sporting Goods and it's like a collapsible, it like opens up and you have like pliers and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it has like a saw, a knife, a corkscrew, all kinds of stuff. It's just good to, it's like nice to have and like anytime someone's like, hey, does someone have a knife? I need to like cut this box or whatever. It's like, it's cool to be the one to say like, yeah, I have one in my bag, here you go. So we keep these, we keep one of these in the car, once again for emergency, and we also keep one of these in our necessity drawer catch-all drawer for me and Julia once again to both have access to. And I also get a, I get a chance to use it because we keep it in our car for emergencies, but also in times of trouble when we are driving past a field and Julia says, oh look, there's cool berries on that tree over there out in that field. I have the ability to go cut some twigs off for Julia because it has like a little saw on here. So just like a nice little piece of equipment to have. Next item is a watch. So it's one of the things that I put on every single morning no matter what I'm doing. I work out in a watch, uh, go around town and run errands in a watch, go to work with a watch. I wear my watch at home, always have on a watch. And I'm really into like a multicolored watch. I like having multiple colors, both gold and silver or rose gold and silver because it goes just like with everything. I don't go like that detailed into like my watches where it's like, oh, I wanna wear a watch that matches because I don't need to because I have one watch that matches everything. This one specifically is Burberry watch that I got at Nordstrom and I have a similar style watch on now. And uh, I'll give you like an up close look real quick. This one's the Burberry and it ma it's similar to the watch that I have on now, but I really like just like the multicolored watches that are both white, gold, silver, chrome, you know, whatever that might be. Great gift idea. Okay, next item, boom. This is an away suitcase. And so because we do a lot of week long travel and weekend trips, this is like the perfect suitcase for that. This is the Chrome, like the newer style away suitcase. Um, these were gifted to Julie and I. We love them so much. And we have both this one and also the large one that's more of like a, a bag that you would check at the airport, much bigger. They're actually pretty light. They're way lighter than you expect. This one I would say is a little bit too small for week long trips. So if me and Julie are going to San Francisco, we usually don't take this one. We take something that's more of like a medium size bag. Um, this one's great for weekend trips. You know, you have a pair of shoes on, you throw a pair of shoes in here. It's good for two outfits. Jill and I have been loving them since we got them. We've traveled with them a couple times already. It's very classy, but not too showy, like, you know, another designer piece of luggage or something like that. Okay, next product here is another charger. And I think Julia might have showed this on her Amazon favorites video, but I'm recommending this as a gift because this was actually gifted to me by one of my coworkers when him and his wife came to stay with Julie and I a few weeks ago. And he gave it to me because we, are, we always talk about like, what's our laziest moment? And I was talking to some of the, the sales team that I work with and telling them that I would say my most embarrassing lazy thing that I do is at night when I go to sleep, sometimes I'm too lazy to reach over, grab the cord and plug my phone in. It is something I have to be cognizant about and intentionally think about each night when I'm going to sleep, like, okay, I'm kind of lazy right now. I don't want to plug my phone in, but I think I should, so I'll go ahead and do it. And there's a lot of nights where I just don't do it. And so to fix that problem after my coworker heard me say that, 
when him and his wife came to stay with me and Julia a few weeks back, he got me this charger, which is nice because at night when I go to sleep, I just simply put on my phone and it starts to charge it. Um, and you can get black or white and put whatever picture behind here uh, by just taking off the back. You know, putting whatever picture you want in there uh, based on the aesthetics of your bedroom or kitchen or wherever you want to put this. I like it on my nightstand, but I think it would also look good in the kitchen or on like a side table in your living room in case you have guests and they want to charge their phones. I just think it's a cool, a cool idea that you can also put like anywhere in the house. The next item is something I've been looking at getting for quite a while and Julia got it for me recently for when we switch offices. It is a wireless Mac Apple keyboard. Um, I've had a couple of these in the past, but what I really liked about this one was its black design. I thought it would look great in a guy's office. It actually looked pretty cool for a woman to have a black keyboard as well. It's not necessarily a gender specific thing. Like I think it'd be pretty dope for a woman to have a black keyboard as well. But I just think for me, preferably wanted black. I thought it's like pretty dope to have a black keyboard in my office. Just a cool option. I like it and I'm pretty stoked that Julie got it for me. Thanks babe. Okay, last but not least is this prized possession. This is a Lululemon backpack. Um, love it so much. I talk about it pretty passionately at work and I've already gotten like three or four coworkers on this bag as well. Comes in a few different colors. It is, it's like the smartest backpack I've ever had. And everyone that I've gotten to buy it as well, love this also. They definitely like put a lot of thought into making this backpack. It has the perfect slots and compartments for everything that you need. So it can be used as a work backpack, which is what myself and a lot of my friends use it for. Um, I actually got my boss on this as well. She uses it as her work bag, as well as her workout bag, because it has a compartment for like your shoes and your socks and dirty clothes. Um, a really nice compartment when you're traveling through the airport and you need to grab like your passport or ID or you're going through security and you, throw, you need to throw your phone in one of the pockets. Um, and as well as like, you know, I usually keep a lot of like the tech things I, I carry with me for, for the channel. So um, cameras, chargers, extra cords, battery packs, extra memory cards. There's a compartment for every single one of those items in here. Like I said, I've gotten so many people on this and it's an amazing gift. It can be used for travel, work, working out, um, hiking, whatever. It's just a great backpack. It is time for the giveaway portion of this gift guide and the giveaway today is this black Apple Magic Keyboard. Um, when Julia bought this for me, she also bought a second one for the giveaway. Uh, for you to give away as a Christmas present to uh, someone special in your life or a family member. The way you enter, pretty easy. First, go over to my Instagram account. Um, it's right here and follow me. Secondly, uh, come back to this video and in the comments below let us know that you have done step one. And then below it, write why you think the person that you plan on giving this to deserves it um, and why you want them to have it. So that's all you have to do is follow me on Instagram, comment in the comments below that you have followed me on Instagram and why the person you are going to give this to, why they deserve this keyboard. And this is one we're going to announce uh, sooner than later, um, just so we can get it out to you before Christmas time. Okay, that is it you guys. So thank you for hanging with me. Hope you found some of the items helpful or, or maybe good ideas of things that you can actually purchase for someone for Christmas. Um, these are all things that are important to my every day um, and things that I just simply think are pretty cool. Hope you have a Merry Christmas and looking forward to seeing you tomorrow on the next Vlogmas. One last call from midnight Too early the stone feel right Common sense, don't let me down again.